Hey, Internet. Hey, YouTube. This is Nate. You can also call me Nathan. Please never call me Nathaniel. Welcome back once again to Monster Train, The Last Divinity. Um, yeah, two uh, Shard Tail Queen Morsel Maid runs in a row. Let's see if we can't get something a little different as we jump into another random random run. Um, okay, this is very different. Uh, Wildenton plus Reform. Uh, this might be an easy one. This might be a tough one. Totally depends on what we get. If we get cons uh, Molten Encasement and we get uh, Strangler, it's over. We already won. If we don't get that, there's still some other options. I wonder if we take Channel Heart just to kind of like hedge against potentially getting Thorn Lord. Because Priory's Cloak is like pretty bad. We have one single healing spell. I'm going to hedge. Yeah, okay, so we get Thorn Lord. Even though, I mean, it does work well with Seller of the Diligent. Predator is also very good. I don't mind Thorn Lord here, though. It's also fine because um, Primitive Molds can be played on any floor, and we still would take benefit. Uh, Mark of a Champion is not very good because it's, you start off with only five. Light's Gift is very good. We will take that. Um, it's a quasi stealth. With Diligent, I'm not too worried. I gotta see what we have for uh, Daedalus. I think this is Daedalus with damage shield, looks like. And then Arcus with whatever he's gonna do. Um, this should be fine. We have much better stings. We have 30 damage stings. We're gonna get three of them at the beginning, so we can just completely demolish this first set of units here. In fact, what I'm going to do is just pop, 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 toss you in there. Um, oh, the uh, roots. That's what I was going to say. Like, what is happening? But that makes sense. Let's get some extra draw. Uh, I would like to kill you. We can do it like this, and then also avoid any type of garbage. Um, sharpen makes a lot of sense. Because it kills the backliner, yeah. And then either we just kill with Wildenton now. Uh, you know what? We can even do this. Get you rolling. And then toss you guys here. And all we need is really just one one sting protects us if we aren't... Okay, we're just killing here. That works. And there you go. Solid. I mean, Thorn Lord with extra damaging stings is always going to be a good, a good time. Straight up sting for thirty or steel enhancer. I think it's straight up sting. I don't mind straight up sting for that much. Oh, uh, I mean, tombs are always good. Are they good in Wildenton? Is the question. Because space is a little tough. It's a little bit tough. We could take one just to have. It's also a little bit awkward if we're going to play top floor. I think I'm going to forgo. Is it Molded or Dripfall? I don't think it's either. Dripfall maybe is okay. I don't know. I think I'm just going to skip. Alright, we're going to go right path. Let's see what we get first from the Merchant. Endless. Okay, now the uh, pick might have been a little bit better. Uh, there is a sweep. We'll take a Shattered Shell, and either Quick or Multi-Strike would be really good. Yeah, we'll take a Quick. Because I will take Strangler before I take uh, uh, Predator. And I'll just continue to increase Thorn Lord if we don't get either. Uh, I'm going to take the money, just to help out with the uh, future floors. Yeah, take a Unit Draft. This should be really solid. We're going to kill the small things first. So actually what I really like is to go like this, play you in the back, go pop, pop, and then sharpen. And I can sting, but sting would lose me some damage on you. I think I'm just going to play the sting somewhere else. Okay. Um, I would like, oh it's dazed, so we're, we got some time. One, 
two. And I could just continue to increase his damage and his damage. That seems pretty stupid. I think we're just going to go with uh, that for now. We need something up top. Train steward it is. And... Oh, we can heal. Focus growth. How are we doing? It's not terrible. It just depends on how much we think we need to head. This is... It's a lot of damage right away. And then I could increase your damage by a lot. You're killing everything. I'm, I'm almost wondering if this is enough. 30, 215. Well, we're going to root seeds twice here anyway. So we can see whether we need it. 200. That's an. Oh, it's so close. One extra damage. How many hits are you getting? Seven? I don't think. I don't think. I think we just. I think we just do this. We should get enough damage. We should get enough damage either between the stings or reforming Wild and Ten. Or both. Oh, yeah. Just play this and this. And we win. Okay. Solid. Okay. So, what do we get? Another sting, huh? That seems like too many stings, but they are decent. I don't think we want another sharpen. There's the entombed explosion again, really kind of like pushing that. Uh, purifying cleanse seems dangerous. I think I'm going to skip this one again. So that's interesting, getting uh, coins out of it. Plus 10 damage and gain coins every time the thing kills something. Um, I don't love it, to be honest. I feel like there are better remnant banners. I'm going to skip. And we're going to go left path. And see if we get a better remnant banner. Ooh, wait a minute. Did we just get the thug again? Might just have to get the thug. Yeah, we're gonna do the thug. I'm gonna merge the thug. It's not amazing, but it's fine. And then what we can do is, uh, and we obviously we want multi strike, um, stealth if we can. We could spell chain a sharpen, and try to get it minus two as well. Certainly, it's not great now, but in the future, uh, let's take lost luggage for a really solid first turn. And do we want to get rid of something? Or do we want to make an ultimate spell? What if we put sharpen with sharpen? It's like a double stacked sharpen that is consume. I don't know. I'm just doing things at this point. And let's keep going. Okay, let's do it. In lieu of Razor Sharp Edge, I'm kind of going for all these here. Now, this is fine. We can cl quick kill everything. Uh, normally, that would give us three, but of course, I can't properly play cards. Uh, I don't know who can. Seems like an impossible thing. Let's uh, just hit Daedalus for a lot. I'm a little nervous because Daedalus has two... Uh, Daedalus has two... Um, Sp or spikes. Little little spooky. Hopefully we can survive. Oh wow, we're just barely killing that guy. So if we can get a heal going, that would be pretty sick. Uh, let's go that. Another sharpen. Another root. Why is there no music? Oh, there is. It's just very quiet. Okay, there's the big heal, and I think it's got to be on you first. There we go. And how are we doing? Almost there. Can bring back a train steward. Play these two as well. And it's not great. It's not great. We got to get... Do we still have... We have no way to extend burnout, so we're going to have to get... 
Um, we can do this at least. Oh wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This guy has burnout too. I'm not gonna play him. We're almost there though. 65 damage. Any one of the two will kill him. There we go. Look at that. 95. Bop. Get bodied. All right. What do we got? Hallowed halls. Now that's interesting. That's very interesting. Hallowed Halls, Wild and Tin. I don't believe we get the... I don't think we get the stings every time we play it. But that would be a way to grow our Sweeper and Wild and Tin himself. We would just lose the spikes. I think that's okay. And then we could get something like an Animus and merge something onto it and have two units. Yeah. Because you can always fit more. Like, as long as it dies... Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this is the way. So now, um... We gotta go right path here. Because we need something to merge. Paraffin Enforcer is fantastic. Uh, it's mostly for Relentless is how we're gonna use that. <laughs> Quick on this as well. Maybe. Let's merge them first. We definitely want minus two on this sharpen. Although on Hallowed Halls is very appealing. But I think it's gonna be the sharpen. We need we need stat growth. And then I'm just thinking. I guess quick is not terrible on this guy. What else do we get? Large stone on him as well is great. Do we hold out for... I don't necessarily think that we need um, multi-strike here. Because we have a multi-strike with the paraffin enforcer one. Because we could just like straight up go damage. And just increase damage using hallowed halls plus the rage plus the sharpens. And maybe that's enough. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to, again, I'm, I'm trying to avoid relying solely on um, multi-strike to win. And there's a strangler. So, I think this works. I think this combo works. It's a little nutty. It's not even, it's not a little nutty. It's, it's a lot nutty. But I'm going to try it. Spell shield should be fine. And the whole plan here... I think we can just put these two down at the bottom. Oh, uh, actually we can't put them at the bottom. We can put this one at the bottom. Yeah, he'll keep them down there. Whoops. Hold on. I'm gonna do that properly. The only thing is we need to find a way to kill off... the unit. How are we gonna kill off the... Animus of Will? This is the qu Oh, it has burnout. It naturally dies. Okay, so play you here. Play you here. Again, just completely forgetting what I'm doing. Uh, give you that. And that. Play this out. Play this out. And we're good. And we don't care if he dies, because we're going to be bringing him back. Play you out as well. Uh, Sting. Root. Could have probably done that a little differently, but it's fine. Okay, everybody's dead. Wait a minute. Oh, he didn't attack because he's not quick. Um, do this up here. Oh, you do get stings. 
I don't I don't know if that's good. <laughs> we what we need is a holdover though. That's for sure. Okay, there's Hallowed Halls again. Give that to you. And it, it kind of works, right? It kind of works, especially if we thin out the deck. Although I am a little bit, like, suspicious of this, uh... A little bit suspicious of... Hold on. The, uh... That's fine. Get in there, friend. Of all of the stings we're gonna get. <laughs> but at least they're good stings. We're just gonna have a lot of... But if we get hold over... I think we we don't have so many problems. Okay, it's basically hallowed halls or bust, and we're we're guaranteed it, so I'm not I'm not too worried here. All right, hallowed halls. Let's play these things first because we're gonna get more of them. There you go, and get beat. Bam. That's not bad. It's not. It's a little weird. I'll admit it's a little strange. Uh, I'm gonna take a Pyre Grow. I think we get enough draw. And I'm gonna skip this. Um, I guess we could take Emblem. That's a pretty good safety. So that's just it. So the... the um, Animus of Will dies naturally to Burnout. And then the others... Okay, we don't need that. I kind of like the idea of duping, but I think we need to wait until we've upgraded the spell first. So we're going to go right path. We're going to remove uh, some stewards. I might also just take the time now to remove a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, what would we have gotten? Yeah, it's not bad. Let's remove the stewards. We need to thin out the deck a lot. I think all of the... Uh, all of the... Other... Uh, primitive molds probably need to go. Um, I don't hate Wax and Spike. It's only four though. I, th I think it's, I think it's not great. Uh, Fades first blade or split anvil. We have a lot of two cost things that would make everything else free. That'd help out a lot with. I guess we do. We did take the Ember extra though. We're probably fine on Ember. I think I'm just going to take the uh, Fates First Blade. Because during Relentless, that'll be very, very strong. Which is my big concern right now. I think we're fine up until potentially Relentless Combat. And then things get dicey. Okay, so we absolutely want these guys on the bottom. One. Two. Whoops. Could have maybe done that better. And I want to play these to upgrade his stuff, but at the same time, I also don't want to because this guy gets so much value. I think we're just going to play this up here. Okay, so then, sharpen, sharpen, pyre grow, double sharpen. We could hallowed halls now. Hallowed Halls would increase both of them by 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. And then we can play three stings. It does root. Wildington. Okay. That's a lot of stuff. I should probably put Permafrost on the rest. Okay, so we're going to go... We gotta play this, because if we accidentally got the other one, that would be really bad. Stats. 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 Okay. There we go. And play that. Play that. I could probably could have played that after, would have been better.
Okay. As long as we can bring back one of them or two of them. Um, how many hits can this guy take? Quite a few. Not to mention all the steam damage. Root seeds, focus growth. We think we're good. Okay, we only need two, and he's dazed. Anybody will do. You've got five, that should be enough. Not to mention, we can beat the crap out of you before then, even. Look at that. So it works, it works. Oh my gosh, Gnarled Root, welcome. Uh, preserve thorns. <laughs> mm, no. Skip. Uh, Crushing Demise is kind of interesting. I think not, though. I think we just keep it how, we go, how we're going. What we need is, um, we need spell upgrades. We need Holdover. Ideally, minus two, but any Holdover would be good. Oh my gosh, Resin Block. Okay. Holdover. Oh man, it's happening. And then we need to dupe that sucker. But we can play that twice. That's plus 15 damage every time we play it. Uh, nothing here. That's good. Let's, uh, do we just minus one? Make it one cost? Yeah, two one costs. I can, I'll do that. I'll do that in a heartbeat. Uh, sure. Uh, make better stings? I don't know. I'd rather yeet some stuff. I think I want to yeet this sharpen. And probably the focus growth. And let's keep going. I, I'm feeling really good about this. I'm feeling really strong right now. Uh, we still need to get permafrost would be the next kind of order of business here. Um, what are you? Incant spells? I'm okay swapping to top. Let's give this to you. Swap to top. And then just grow this guy. Yeah, we kind of waste the stings, but that's life. Sometimes you gotta waste the stings. Oh, that's awkward. Okay, contrition's gonna be inconvenient. <laughs> to say the least. Um, this, this. More damage. And I think we chill with the hollow dripping right now. What are you? Applying spells. Okay, we can play this here now. And we can smack some fools. Got it. Okay. Now where do we want them? I don't think we want them at the bottom. Although right now they're not going to die immediately. Maybe it's not terrible. So we can go one. Whoops. We can give you double damage. More damage. And this doesn't really matter. But well, let's hold it. Okay, now we can put everybody on one floor. That's solid. So we're going to go like this. And I'll pump you up with damage. We could try to go with this right now. How many more turns do we have? Three? Yeah, not yet. We'll play them later. Just get a lot of damage in there. Oh my gosh. Let's start hitting Arcus. Damage, damage. Awesome. Get some money. Okay, we don't play anything. Just these into the void. There we go. Although, hold on. There we go. Alright, how are we doing? Fantastic. Look at that. We're winning. Hallowed Drippings. Probably should have played uh, Hallowed Halls first, but anyway. Do it! Got him! Got him, got him, got him. And again, I don't think we need Wax and Spike. But why not, right? I guess we might as well. Why not take it? Okay. Um... Still more draw... No, more more Ember. 
We have enough draw. We don't need Merchants of Steel. We're going to go for more artifacts. Oh, Flicker's Liquor. Wait, does that work when you play a unit? I don't think that works. Trader's Quill's good, though. I don't think Flicker's Liquor works. Purge a card. Let's purge... Primitive Molds. And minus two would be sick. Spell chain. Eh, I don't think so. Intrinsic. Also don't think so. Yeah, we just keep rolling. And now the question is Thornlord 2 or Strangler? It's got to be Thornlord 2. We're going to play more than 10 spells. Like, it's... Not even a question. Um, yeah. Yeah, this means actually, it's actually really good because it means we can play our uh, stings without worrying about killing stuff. Alright, so we're gonna play you. We're gonna play you. We're gonna play you. We actually have enough room. One, two, three. Uh, play this. Play this. And play this. And that seemed pretty good. We don't care if our man dies because we're just going to replace him anyway. Uh, let's go root. Root. Hallowed halls. Bop, bop, bop. Bop. And... Lots of money. And now we get the super hallowed halls. Uh, we can play one, two, then play this. Got him. And this is just better. Boom. Got him. Um, root. Sharpen, sharpen. There we go. Oh, I didn't realize that. If we get a bad order, we actually might not have enough room. Interesting. I mean, here we were fine, but it's like a one third chance every time. There we go. Got it. And we're just saving. Just saving. Look at it. Look at Wildington's damage. It's like not nothing. There's so many stings. It's just stupid how many stings we have. Just lost some money from all this, but too funny. Bah. Damage scaling is really good here. Uh, adaptive. It kind of works with gnarled root, but not not well enough that I'm gonna take time to do that. Uh, we don't need any of this. Wickless recruitment's kind of interesting, but I think we already have ways to do that now. So we definitely have to go left path. We most definitely dupe hallowed halls and then now the question is we can remove consume doesn't seem particularly great wings to oh my gosh better stings yes we don't heal oh my gosh mark of an exile that's fantastic um i think we minus one on our root seeds I don't really know if we want to remove consume from anything. I could do it on a hallow drippings. And then make it free. Meh. Permafrost on hallow drippings just seems better. Then we just wait till the end. And we can make a slightly better sting. And that seems I mean this seems like really good. Minus two. 
We could minus two to that. We could minus two to that. Yeah. Let's make that a bit better is fine. And then we're good. Yeah, this is going to crush. These stings are going to be pretty sick. Okay. So go one, two, three. One, two, smack, 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 root, root, and crushing. All right, my friend. Um, I don't know how we're going to kill you. I oh, Actually, I know exactly how we're going to kill you. Let's play this. Oh, dumb. Dumb to dumb, dumb to dumb. Uh, this. Oh, I should have done Hallowed Halls first. I can do it now. Uh, and again, like a fool, I, uh... I, it's just not... It's just not great how that happened. <laughs> Nothing more to say. It just wasn't... It wasn't the, wasn't the way to play that. Um... We gotta play Hallowed Halls first. We can Sting first, though. Sting you. Hallowed Halls gets us three more. We can do Root Seeds, uh, Waxing Spike. Play this as well. And now I think we're just good. Double Hallowed Halls time. Okay, so we always gotta Sting first. Sting. This is where things get like really insane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we play this, we can fit all three stings. Bop, bop, bop. Into another one. Bop, bop, bop. But boost your damage up. And go. And again, at the end of the day, um, we're gonna have tons of stings, but the only the only spell we need is our holdover hallow dolls. Like that's it. And then this hallow drippings for the end. And the thing is, we can hallowed halls all the way up. So we always we always start on bottom, and then we hallowed halls. Yeah. Except for uh, during divinity, I guess that's that's true. Divinity we can't do that, but up until divinity we can. And uh, yeah. There we go. Bop, bop, bop. Do it again. I guess I can sting you, but this is increasing his damage, so I don't I don't hate it. And go. Alright, one last time. And then you lose your stealth. One, two, three, four, five, this. Up, up, up. Bop, bop. Up. And then we should just see because actually this is like the perfect order. We're killing, so we don't need to do anything. Play that. And uh, get wrecked. Dead. I mean, the damage just in the, it, once they start going, they get so much rage during the Relentless that they, their damage just gets insane. So as long as we have enough um, burnout, we're, we're going to be just fine. What's crazy is that we've consistently started with all of our units every uh, every single time, again. Okay, um, so play you here. Play you here. Play you here. Okay. And now we, I think we just still just crush. Like we just, we just go. Go to town. Get him. Okay. Root. Root. That. Hallowed Halls. The only issue is going to be Hallowed Halls is going to uh, affect a bit their uh, the amount of uh, harvest they're going to get. 
But as long as we're killing off enough of them, I think it's okay. So we can Hallowed Halls. Oh my gosh, we're going to give them so much value. Let's try to kill off who we can first. There we go. The more we can kill off ahead of time, the better. Now let's do it once. Kill off a dude if we can. Or at least get him super low. So we're going to be able to kill off one. Two, yeah, it's only going to be one left. We can do this as well. Mm, I think we leave it. I mean, they're going to have tons of burnout from all of the uh, reforms. Every time they reform, they get more burnout, so... I'm not too worried. Alright, let's Hallowed Halls. Get bodied. Get bodied. Look at that. Even without our sweeper, still just dominating. And go. Cool. Looking very, very, very solid. That was a lot of freaking things we just played. Uh, let's get some more. Wildington's like getting strong. 239 damage. No joke. Again, we're trying to kill as many as we can to avoid harvest. We should get through all of them. Almost, with just stings. So many stings! <laughs> Look at that! That's just ridiculous. We have 8 burnout right now, by the way. So we're, we're still very, very solid. Someday we'll get the sweeper again, but it's not today. I mean, I guess we don't really need the sweeper, but it would be nice. There we go. It's crazy that we haven't gotten it. It's such a rare chance to not get it. And again, just not getting the sweeper. Game's like, nah. Nah, we've had enough of your sweeping. No more sweeping for you. <laughs> like, really? Like, that's actually almost obnoxious how it's just refusing to give us the sweeper. All right, we have one turn left. That's a lot of things. Okay. Oh, there we go. He's back. There we go. Look at that. Let's play that and we win. One hit. <laughs> and we don't even need to howl at all, so we just finish one hit. Get bodied. <laughs> that was an unconventional build, but I liked it. I liked that. It just show I mean Howl Halls is just too good, I think. It's so consistent. If you get any type of multi-strike or sweep, it uh, it gets out of out of control. Um, anyway, that's uh, the run for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, yeah. If you did, please give it a like. If you have not yet subscribed, would love to see you in other videos again. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.